Hi guys, I hope you're well. So I have this big pile of jeans that is actually hurting my arm, so I'm just gonna pop them on my lap. But I have been trying to find some jeans that fit because I've recently dropped dress size, but I'm in between sizes. So my beloved Topshop jeans that I've gone on about a few times, the straight leg jeans, which are by far the best jeans I've ever had, my 28s no longer fit me and I can't fit in the 26 because I'm in between the sizes for Topshop. So if anybody from the Topshop buying or design team is listening, please, please, can you make a size 27 in your jeans because I absolutely adore, hello baby, you come to help. I absolutely adore Topshop jeans. They are my favorite jeans I've ever had, but unfortunately they just don't fit me anymore. So until I either put weight back on or lose some more weight, I'm going to have to find some alternative jeans. So I do have nine pairs of jeans in total today. I have tried all of these on and I've written down notes on each pair. So I'm going to talk you through the jeans and I've also got some inserts so you can see how they fit and kind of my thoughts on them and also the sizing. So, so you know about my sizing, I have a 27 inch waist, I have 37 inch hips and then my bust is around 35 inches. So finding jeans has been a bit of a struggle because 28s, see, sorry Brody, you can see him in the mirror there, he's absolutely loving a bum rub right now, aren't you? Um, size 28s, yeah, are just a little bit on the big side for me at the moment. Size 26s, in some brands I can't fit into, in some brands I can, but a little bit tight. And then ideally 27s would be perfect, but not as many people do a size 27. So a little bit limited in finding jeans on the high street and a decent pair without having to shell out you know 200 odd pounds on a pair of Hudson jeans just purely because they do size 27. So that's a little bit of the background there so if anybody else is also struggling with jeans that are in between sizes or they know of perfect places to go to try on size 27 jeans please do comment down below because I am actually really struggling and I love just denim and plain t-shirt outfits. So with all of the jeans today I've worn this white t-shirt, you may have seen it in my Topshop haul, I will leave that linked above, it's just a really cute slogan and it says you make me smile, yes you make me smile. And then to finish the look, so basically you can kind of get a feel for how all the jeans look, I've kept the outfit the same and I've also paired my Gucci loafs with these now. I absolutely adore these shoes, they get so much wear, I practically just slip them on for work. They're the comfiest things ever and they look so effortless, chic and cool with denim jeans as well. So I will leave the t-shirt and my Gucci loafs linked in the description bar below. Down in the description bar you'll be able to find links to all of these styles as well and I will also leave the prices on screen as well so you can see what the jeans cost. So I have four pairs from ASOS and five pairs from Ant Other Stories and I'm going to kick off with the ASOS jeans first and I'm going to show you those four pairs. Flip the part around. The first pair is a black wash, worn wash pair of jeans and they are in a high waist. I love high waisted jeans, I just find them more flattering and I also find them more comfortable as well. And I had to get these in a 28 because they'd ran out of the 26s. And annoyingly, in the sizes that I picked, the styles from ASOS, they do not do a size 27 either. So I was looking for size 27 on ASOS and I didn't really have much look in that department. So I have one pair of 28 because they didn't have the 26. And then I have three other pairs that are all size 26. So I found that these were comfortable. I really like the length of these. I thought they were very leg lengthening, very flattering on the legs. They weren't actually too overly big for a size 28, but I can tell that there's quite a lot of stretch in them and they're not very rigid. So I know that, you know, after wearing these all day, sitting down and then walking, having my knees like stretching the jeans, that these would probably end up looking too baggy and I'm gonna have the same problem as I am with my Topshop jeans, which I've tried to shrink in the wash about three times now. So unfortunately, Although I love these jeans, the size is not right for me. But if I can get my hands on a size 26, I'm definitely going to snap up a pair of these. I've just noticed as well that one, I'm super pale because I haven't been fake tanning. And two, obviously, because the mirrors, the mirror, because the window lights coming in that way. One side of my face might be lighter than the other. So I do apologise for that. But moving on to the second pair of jeans. Now this is a pair of ASOS recycled Florence authentic vintage jeans in a colour blue. I got these in a size 26, 32 leg. I am about five foot eight, five foot nine in height, but I prefer to go for a 32 leg 
rather than a 34 because I like my jeans to be slightly cropped. That's just my personal preference. And as you can see, these are button up the front, which is a very rigid style, uh, very Levi's. I did find these a little bit of a struggle to get on. So they do fit me once I've sucked in and buttoned up, but you never know, a button might pop out and take someone's eye out. But the size 28, again, I know would definitely be to on the bigger side. So it's either be big and baggy and feel a little bit unflattering or go tighter and feel uncomfortable but look better. But I might have to do the stretch test in these jeans. So the stretch test for me with jeans is I'll wear them around the house maybe for like half an hour, an hour and I'll, you know, sit down in them and, you know, walk around and kind of see how the jeans respond to my movement. So I'm going to see how these feel on around the house and um, if they can maybe loosen up a little bit around the waist. A um, bit tight across the waist and the hips, like I said, but they fit elsewhere. And I do actually think that these are really good quality pair of jeans. Um, ASOS jeans are never overly expensive either, so I can't remember the price of these. But as I said, I'll leave it on screen, but I can't see them being any more than £40. Next, we have some more skinny jeans. Now, I do actually prefer straighter, more relaxed vintage styles, but... What I've found from the jeans already in my wardrobe is that my skinny jeans fit me better at the moment. Obviously, because I've lost weight, skinny jeans have more stretch, they're more adaptable to your size and your shape. So I thought I would try a new pair of skinny jeans. Pick these up again in a 2632. Not 100% sold on the colour and the worn kind of denim look on the front, but I do love the frayed edges and I also love the length of these. They were stretchy and comfy, but they're tight on the knees. And these are skinny jeans. They do have stretch, but they're also quite rigid. So it's not like super stretchy legging skinny jeans that kind of completely move with your body. And I've got quite big knees. <laughs> I've got quite big bones in general, and I have got big knees. So I do struggle sometimes with tight skinny jeans that are a little bit rigid. So these might be a little bit uncomfortable for me. Um, and I'm also not very sure whether they're flattering on the inside of the thighs, whether that's the color of the jean or the style, but I really like the high waist and they do feel super comfortable there and on the hips. It's just the opposite problem that this pair are uncomfortable on the knees and the vintage pair are uncomfortable on my waist. So again, I'm like in between sizes everywhere with jeans, which is just super annoying. Then the last pair from ASOS is another pair of the Florence straight leg, same as the pair before, but in this gorgeous indigo blue colour and I absolutely love these. I don't really have any dark coloured jeans and what I love about dark coloured jeans is where you get the contrast stitch, so you've got like the yellow orangey stitching against the dark indigo and these just, oh, they're so cool, I absolutely love them. So again, they are stiff and rigid around the waist and the hips, might take somebody's eye out with a button, but I am willing to do as many squats as I need to in these to make them feel comfortable because I absolutely adore this pair. So I'm definitely going to keep these even though they're maybe verging on the side of slightly small, but I'll make it work. Actually, if anybody's got any tips for stretching jeans rather than shrinking jeans, let me know in the comments below if anybody knows of any like articles or hacks for things like that, then I'll definitely try and stretch those ones. So overall, out of those four jeans from ASOS, I'm a little bit disappointed that ASOS don't do more size 27s. With them being such a massive online retailer, I thought they would have more jean sizes on the site. Um, but yeah, I don't actually think I managed to find any size 27s that I liked. And like I said, more of a straight leg, relaxed, vintage style. But I do adore that last pair and I'm definitely going to see if they can work. But obviously ASOS is a lower price point than the jeans I'm about to show you next, which is the pile that I have here from And Other Stories. I have never actually tried on a pair of jeans from And Other Stories before. So this was like an impulse. I'm going to try their jeans because... I like the look of the styles and I'm desperate to find some that fit me. So, and other stories, hallelujah, do size 27, which made me so happy when I went on the site and I saw that every single style of jeans, I think, 99% sure of saying that, that they do size 27. And I think they do 29s as well, so they do in between sizes. So if you are in between the standard 26, 28, 30, like me, then and other stories might be a place where you'll find some jeans. So let's kind of go through and see my thoughts on the five pairs that I've got. Again, pretty much all straight or crop leg. All of these jeans actually are £59 as well. So like I said, they're a little bit more expensive than the ASOS jeans, but I can tell the quality of these, the denim, 
feels softer and super comfortable. So the first pair is a pair of straight leg jeans in a royal blue colour. Uh, the camera just cut off then when I was filming so completely forgotten where I got us up to. So we'll start again with Amber the Story. So this is a pair of straight denim jeans in a royal blue slim leg. They're £59. All of the jeans from and other stories are the same price. Um, I feel like I want to try a size 26 in these because they do actually have quite a lot of give in the waist which again is reminding me of my Topshop 28s that I know have given a tiny bit when wearing them and I feel like they're not very flattering around you know the bum area where you kind of want to feel like you're supported and pushed up and you've got a nice peachy bum instead of a saggy one and um, I feel like they all go baggy with wear although I do actually really like the colour of them so I might try these in the size 26. Moving on to the second pair from And Other Stories, these are actually a pair of cropped flared jeans and I adore light wash denim, I think it's so versatile, it's very again vintage inspired like Levi's and what drew me to these is I love this like line that they've got going on at the back, I think that's super flattering, um, maybe the flare on them is slight a little bit too wide, um, they're more rigid than the straight leg but they sit lower down so they're a bit more on the hips and the size 27 for these for me feels like the perfect fit. I feel comfortable and I also feel like they're not going to give too much. The flare on the jeans, although maybe slight bit wide for me, also really slims down your thighs as well. So I think these are really flattering because sometimes lighter wash jeans can make you feel or look a little bit bigger. And these are thumbs up from me. Going back to some more straight legs, I have, I'm not sure if it's the same pair of jeans, but it's in a dark indigo colour. And if it is the same pair of jeans, this size 27 fits me a lot better than the first pair of straight legs that I tried on. I don't know if that's because it's a light, the first pair's a lighter pair, so it's treated differently, so maybe that breaks down the denim a bit more and makes it a little bit looser. But these are a really lovely fit. They feel super comfortable, super soft denim. They don't feel tight, but I also feel like they're very flattering and they fit very well. But again, I will probably do my stretch test in these, wear them around the house for about half an hour or so and just you know see how they move with my body and if they start to feel a little bit loose around the waist or the knees or the bum. Another pair of straight denim jeans, these are in a blue-grey colour and I actually I'm a huge fan of this colour. It's a very in-between colour, it is a light wash, but it's kind of in between a bleach and then a the first pair of jeans, that the straight legs that I showed you. So I'm pretty much kind of wanting to keep these as well as the straight legs before I just showed you because again they're super comfortable, I love where they sit on the waist, um, they've got a tiny bit more stretch in them than the dark ones but having said that the first pair might have been stretchy due to the treatment, these are even lighter and they are not as big so maybe that was just a mishap with the one-off pair, who knows. Um, I'm not sure if these are flattering on my inner thighs again, so again that could be just the colour of the denim purely, so I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but again, so comfortable. Um, I don't know, I might actually just try their straight leg jeans in a size 26 for comparison, because I've never tried and other stories jeans before. I was thinking, I'm definitely not going to fit in a 26, so I'll stick with 27, because obviously I'm a 27 inch waist, uh, but yeah, who knows. I will do the house test and order some size 26. So now we have just one pair of jeans left and I think actually from the whole of this jean trying on session, these have been my favourite. I put them on and I just thought they were super flattering. I feel like they're really leg lengthening and they are the perfect length for me as I love a little bit of a cropped jeans. And it is a pair of cropped flared denim jeans in royal blue. So they're similar to the first pair of cropped jeans the first pair of cropped jeans from And Other Stories, but they're not as wide. So it's kind of more like a straight, slightly flared crop, and we've got raw hem at the bottom. I'm always a sucker for some worn denim. Um, I feel like these were more comfortable as well. Again, they sit a little bit lower down more on your hips, so that might be easier for getting them to keep their shape more because, you know, I can tighten my belt more around my hips than I can on my waist. So I do actually really love this pair. Again, they feel really soft, but they feel a little bit heavier so they feel like we've got a little bit more kind of structure to them and I'm just loving the effect that it's given my legs with a bit of leg lengthening. These would look killer in the evening with a pair of heels or boots or trainers or loafers for the day. So these are a definite keeper. But as for all the other pairs, 
I'm probably going to try and see if I can stretch the last ASOS Dark Indigo pair. But I would love your help with which jeans you think were most flattering, which you think I should keep. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. And again, if you've got any recommendations for retailers who do good size 27 jeans that aren't going to cost the end of the earth. But I hope that's been helpful. If anybody like me struggles massively to find jeans because you're just in between the sizes. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the pairs, let me know again in the comments below and I'll get back to you. So thank you for watching today's video. If you are new, I would love if you did subscribe. If you've got any suggestions, any style videos you want to see from me, also let me know. I'm going to be filming at the weekend and I don't know what to film. Would you like to see a maybe over the knee boot styling video? Would you like to see ways to wear a pair of jeans? Considering I've just done a jean haul, I could show different ways to style a pair of jeans. Um, do you want to see how, more about my Gucci loafers because I have two pairs? Or any requests? Um, let me know. Give some suggestions. Give some suggestions down below because the weekend after this video comes out, I should be filming a new video for next week. So yeah, if there's anything you want to see, do let me know. And I will see you all, hopefully, back again in my next video. So have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.